Hi, this is Jamie with Iron Horse Trailers. This week's tip is on the hubs and bearings. Uh, most of our wheels are different. This is a little bit older trailer that I'm going to be showing you all. Behind the center cap, there's a rubber plug, and this is a little hard to get off. You have to take a small screwdriver. I've already got this one loose. Plug that off. There's inside here's a zerk fitting, and that allows you to grease the bearings on these uh, easy loop torsion axles. Depending on what size axle it is, uh, all these are set up the same. These are sealed bearings, but the grease actually gets in there, works, and keeps them cool. Uh, with the easy loop torsion axle, they last a very long time. This is a 2006 trailer. Um, still in great shape. Somebody's kept it greased. As you can see, a little bit on the inside, there's some grease in there. Um, basically, when you put the grease gun on, just squeeze a little in and see if any will go in. Uh, what happens over time, the grease deteriorates and it loses dexterity. A little more grease will fill that in and keep it cool. Uh, keeping your hubs greased is the life of your bearings. Um, and you don't want to be on the side of the road broke down with a bad bearing. Uh, that's just a nightmare to have to try to find bearings. Uh, and get them fixed on the side of the road. If you do this ahead of time, preventative maintenance saves all that trouble. Bearings for these are very easy to find. Iron horses, as we've always used Dexter or Lippert axles. Depending on the axle that you have, it will be stamped on the inside. You can always find those bearing kits for those. Uh, a lot of people use bearing buddies and those kind of things, but these have the built-in zerk fittings. You really don't need them. Keep your trailer on the road, keep your bearings greased, and you should be in good shape. We'll see you next week.